So far in this chapter, we've been talking about exponential growth and decay, and we've been looking at two problems. One was the credit card problem, and one was card depreciation. Now, the card depreciation we did first, and for that we found that the equation was y equals the original amount of the car, so let's say the car cost 40000 and then we did times 0.85 to the x power. And recall that 85% was because we were losing 15% each year. So this was depreciating because it was going down. So it's an example of decay. And in the credit card problem, recall today that we started out with a MacBook Pro that was $1,500. And that we noticed that we had to have 1 plus the credit card percent, the APR, which was 29% or 0.29. But since credit cards charge you on a monthly basis, we had to divide that number by 12 to get the percent for each month. And then we were raising that to the x power, okay. where x in this case was number of months, and here x was number of years. Um, there's some vocabulary words that we need to learn. One is the growth rate. The growth rate, or the rate of decay, for a problem that's decay, is the percentage that you're going up or going down by each time. So for us, it's that 0.29 divided by 12, which is... 0.024. Now, the growth rate we usually say as a percent, and so what you would say in this problem is it's 2.4%. And we usually use the variable R for the growth rate. And in the car depreciation, the rate of decay for us was 15%. Okay. And then there's also something called the growth factor which is related to the growth rate, but just a little bit different. The growth factor is 1 plus r. And so in this case, our growth factor would be 1.024. This is not typically given in a percentage. And our rate of decay, or our uh, decay factor, is 1 minus r. And so for us, this would be the 0.85 given as a decimal and not as a percent. Okay? So there's the growth rate, r equals 2.4%, or r equals 15%. And then there's the growth factor and the decay factor, which are not given as percents, but are related to r. Now, we also looked um, at the graphs of these. And I'm just going to graph these by hand for right now. Now, if you set up your window and you zoom out enough, what you're going to see on exponential growth and exponential decay is that they are very similarly shaped and they have some common features. So for growth, if we were to graph our equation for the credit card debt, you would see that in the positive direction it would keep increasing more and more and more. It would be getting more steep as you're getting bigger on the x-axis. Okay? And then as you're going in the negative x-directions, you would see that this is flattening out and getting closer and closer to zero. Okay, but would never actually touch zero and would never cross over to the negatives. This is because there's what's called an asymptote in this problem. Now, I made the mistake of using a big fat black marker, so I'm going to have to switch over to a colored pencil here. The asymptote for these problems is at the x-axis because this graph hasn't been shifted up or down. So the x-axis, or the line y equals zero for us in this problem, is a horizontal asymptote. And then for the exponential decay, for car depreciation, we see the same shape of graph, but it's flipped. And so you're seeing that as you're going on in years, your car is getting less and less, worth less money, and it's going towards its asymptote also. So it also has a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. Okay. And then finally, there's a formula that you guys should be aware of for um, growth that we're going to be looking into a little bit more. And that formula is A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. Now this should look a little bit familiar based on today's credit card. P is the amount you start with, your initial amount or your uh, principal. R is that percentage, like the 29% today in class. N is the number of times per year that you're calculating it. And then notice up here there's an NT. We're going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Thanks.